There's no painless way of doing this. Uh, it's a no-brainer to say that we shouldn't pay back any more of the unguaranteed bank debt, but scandalously, that's almost all being paid back at this stage. And by the time the new government comes into power, you know, even more of it will have been paid back. It's being paid back every week uh, without the people being told about this. Um, that would have been the easy way of dealing with our problems. Uh, once you uh, have paid back all of the unguaranteed bank debt, then you're into uh, guaranteed bank debts, uh, you're into uh, the liquidity that's provided, been provided to us by the ECB and so on. And at a certain point, we are going to have to say, look, sorry, we just, we just can't pay this all back. This is not sustainable. Uh, on the other hand, how would you like a nice big share of the Irish banking system? I think if we signal as a people that we're willing to hand Monsieur Trichet a veto on how this republic deal with the creditors of our rotten banking system, then he will exercise that veto. So it's very important that as voters we send a signal that none of this is the case. We know that it's the case. We know that the opinion polls show that a huge majority of Irish people don't see any reason why we should pick up the gambling debts of foreign speculators. But we need to use a selection to uh, make that point in a very tangible way that all politicians in Europe can understand. Because at the end of the day, Europe's politicians, for all their flaws, are all convinced Democrats. They understand that if something is politically impossible, it won't happen. We need to convince them that our paying back all of these bad bank debts is something that is politically and economically impossible, and that therefore it won't happen. Ireland is a sovereign nation. It is a sovereign nation within the association of the European nations, which retain their sovereignty in their own affairs. We can structure our own future, we have full control of our own future, and not to exercise it under the pretense that it will disappoint or anger some of our partners somewhere in Europe is, from my point of view, negating the whole issue of the sovereignty of this country. If our partners want stronger Europe, they want stronger Ireland and prosperous Ireland, and I know they do, and the only way to achieve it is to hit a restart button on our debt and put this economy back onto the rails of growth. The option is very simple. Either we bring it forward now and default on the bank debt, or we default on sovereign debt in the future, which is a much, much worse thing to do. Much, much worse thing to do. Because that puts us in the condition of somewhere like Argentina, where it takes a long time to unravel. Once we default on the bank debt, all it is is a corporate default. It's not a big deal. And we move on. So our choice is either we define the crisis now, we define reality and we do something about it right now, or we play the long game and hope that the cavalry will come over the, the hill and bail us out. That's not going to happen. And the bargaining power that we have right now is that the ECB is on the hook to the tunes of many, many tens of billions of euros towards us. That means that they're not just our creditor, they're our partner. This is a real turning point in our country's history. If we don't sort out this problem now, we're going to find ourselves in three years or in five years insolvent, either defaulting or negotiating rollover programs in a context where we'll have burned through all of our cash reserves. We'll be a serial offender. We'll have absolutely no bargaining power whatsoever uh, anymore. And at that stage, uh, I very much fear for the ability of even the most skilled negotiator uh, to salvage something for this country.